I've got five tips. Some of these are new. That's gonna make grading in Canvas so much easier. I'm gonna dive in with this golden rule assignment. You'll see over here in my to-do list, it's marked as needed to be graded. We're also gonna grade this IRL in real life discussion board. I'm gonna click on my golden rule assignment. I'm gonna be working with a test student today. When I'm in view as student or student view, I'm able to upload assignments just like a student and then turn around and grade them, a great way to practice. But that was not my first tip. The first tip is using rubrics. Let me click on this rubric. I'm gonna expand this a little bit so that you can get a better look. And this rubric is really simple. So it's just got participate in the class activity. My student did that, submit the worksheet. My student did that. I could leave comments if I wanted, and then I'm gonna submit that assessment. Now this is great in a couple of ways. It adds it up. It also gives me um, item by item what the student has earned but it also tells the student what you are expecting and how you're gonna grade. If I go back to that assignment, I'm gonna click on that golden rule assignment, view as a student, and scrolling down, there's the rubric. So the student knows exactly what to expect. I found that people, once they start using them, don't go back. I've got a video on exactly how to add these to your assignments. Take a look at my description below. Let's leave student view and go back into SpeedGrader to leave a comment. Okay, so here's my test student. I'm just grabbing these three dots in the middle to expand this a little bit. Canvas has made some amazing updates here. First of all, this is now a rich content editor, which means I'm gonna click these three dots, which means that you've got all of the formatting options. You can do bullet points, bold, um, underlined. You can even add in a course link. I love this feature. The other thing that's here is a comment library. So if you hover over here and click on this little caption bubble, you've got a comment library. These comments that you add to the library will stay here assignment to assignment. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one more and I'm gonna say what you've submitted looks good, but your work is incomplete or something like that. And then I wanna submit this, add that to my library. Now it's just added to the library. Let me click this X here and scroll up. You also wanna have this show suggestions when typing toggled over here to on. So you've got that green check mark. Now let's go back and leave a comment for my test student. Um, I really think they did a great job. So I know that I've got one that starts with you and my comment library goes right to the ones that have you in it. I wanna choose that first one. Now if yours doesn't, my Chromebook will not show that, but if I just start typing in the comment, it will let me hover on this and then it will bring up the suggestion. Now as a good um, practice here, it's nice to leave the student's name. This is just test student. Student. and then at the end you can also um, add your name so you can make any edits here but a huge time saver another great time saver here let me get rid of this one of my co-workers uses this she just puts in emojis so if you want to put an emoji in you may have the emoji keyboard already inside of canvas your administrator would have to turn this on if not and you can give that student a smiley face. Um, another way to get to those emojis, if you are on a Windows computer, you're gonna hit your Windows button followed by a period. Where's my Windows button? Windows followed by period. So I've got that. Or if you're on a Mac, it is control command space to get to those emojis. But now that we've got this feedback how we want it, it would be great if our students actually saw the feedback. I'm gonna go back to my course and show you how a student would do that. Let me click on view as student. I've also got a video though down below that you can just copy and paste. Just grab that link and paste it into your class so students know exactly how to view their feedback. Okay, so I'm in here, student view. I'm in here as test student. Remember, we just graded and added a comment. I'm gonna go into grades as a student and students usually just see this. They just see the points. Uh, my test student is not doing great here, but we're gonna scroll down to that golden rule assignment. And there are some little icons here that the student can click on. I just tell students to click on the assignment name. There might be a few more clicks here. 
Um, you want to click that view feedback. I wish this was different. And then you can also click on that show rubric, but it's all there. Again, I've got a video. You can just copy and paste that link. Let's leave student view. Now, remember, if I go back to home, remember I had that in real life discussion board. I'm going to show you how to grade this one last because it's my favorite. So you have to wait for it. I'm going to show you how to do automatic zeros first, but both of these next two tools live in the grades tab. So over here to the grades tab, I first want to show you how to do automatic zeros for missing work. To do that, you go up to our little gear here for settings and up pops late policies. I have this automatically apply grade for missing submissions. I have this guy checked and I have a zero. The default in Canvas, if a student is missing an assignment, the default is to leave that just ungraded and it doesn't count towards their grade. I find that these zeros really get my students' attention. Um, so there's that one. There are some other wonderful ways that you can set up some late work policies. Okay, let me cancel here. I'm gonna go onto my very favorite one, and this one is for this in real life discussion board. And in this one, they had to uh, share their favorite game. So I'm not really gonna grade them discussion post by discussion post. Instead, I wanna give them all the five points possible. Before we give everybody five points, I do go through and make sure that anybody who didn't submit has a zero, but I'm ready to set my default grade. This is really like batch grading. So I'm hovering up here and I'm gonna click on those three dots and then I choose set default grade. I wanna give everybody that submitted five points. You can also click this overwrite already existing grades, but I want those zeros to stay zeros. So I just click set default grade and it takes just a minute. All 24 student scores have been updated. Amazing. Let me know what your favorite grading tools are down in the comments and I will see you next time.